Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes And this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily Now, I thought we could do a meditation. Just a very calming focused meditation where it doesn't matter at all. If there's, any, if there's any background sounds, it doesn't matter. It's really not about being silent. It's about acceptance. Accepting what is. Not fighting against reality. Which is something I think we're all guilty of. I know I am. I use the word guilty, I don't really mean that, but we're all capable of just not liking what's really happening and fighting against it by saying to ourselves, well, that shouldn't be. It can be as simple as... Uh, it's raining or it's windy. The wind's rattling the windows while I'm making a recording. It shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't be doing it while I'm making a recording. Which is a really stupid thing to, to think to myself. Because the reality is it's windy. And it's rattling the windows. Now perhaps I should have better windows. But uh, I'm not the owner of this property. So I, again, it's another thing that I have no control over. I could move. See, there's, there's a, our options. But in this moment, the windows are rattling because it's windy. That's the reality. Now, I can fight against it all I like, but all that does is cause me to be stressed and to be unhappy to be angry to be resentful um, and any other emotions that are completely useless to me by the way it's not windy and the windows aren't actually rattling right now that was just an example So there's a degree of just letting go and accepting the reality of this moment without judgment, without, without really having any emotion about it. So it's not a case of just completely, you know, instantly not having any thoughts or not having any feelings. It's more a case of allowing the thoughts to arise, which they will, but not holding on to them. Not even examining them, not really giving them any attention at all. Notice them and let them pass you by like clouds in the sky.
So Herbert the Pigeon is in the background here. He's been following me around for about 12 years. Wherever I live, Herbert turns up. And pigeons are amongst the loudest birds, apart from cocks. Cockerels are obviously one of the loudest, but I don't live on a farm, luckily. But those pigeons, pretty loud. But the fact is it's there. And the reason it's there is because I've got a big tree in the garden. And I wouldn't give that tree up for anything because of all the wildlife that get to live in it. I guess the oxygen that it gives off as well, which is good, handy. But I love the sounds of the birds and having a tree so close to where I live gives me the, the beautiful sounds that I enjoy every day, all year round. If I was a bird watcher, I could get myself a nice pair of binoculars and look out the window and watch them. But that might look strange to the other neighbours. <laughs> Me <laughs> standing at my window with some pair of binoculars. So what's happening on your side where you are? What's going on right now in your life that maybe is reality and you don't like it, you know? You kind of like it to be different. And maybe you put too much energy into trying to you know, really think that something should be different when the reality is this is how it is at the moment. And of course, the, the great thing about life is everything changes. So, whatever is reality now, may not be reality in a month's time. You may feel very different about your environment, about yourself. So there's that change that is always happening and there's no way around it it's the change has to happen and we can either adapt or we can get stunted and get stuck because change is both brilliant and can also be horrible at the same time in a sense of how it affects our life. There's things that happen that all of us would really rather not happen. But at the same time, we don't complain when the bad times end and things start to become better and our lives improve, which they always do. We don't complain when a, uh, a stomach ache stops hurting or, you know, when something that we don't like changes. Because we know that change will happen and we enjoy it in that moment just like now I've got Andre the ferret has just run out from behind the door you know what I knew he was there he's, he's my little boy now 
I'd prefer him to keep completely silent whilst I make these recordings. But he doesn't take any notice of that. He doesn't care. He's just going to do whatever he wants to do. Now I could put him into the bedroom. But for the sake of this recording, this being a meditation on our environment, he is part of my environment in this moment. There's practically no other sounds at all. And all, all he's doing is he's having a drink of water. I can't begrudge him that. He's not causing problems. He's just happily going around doing his business, whatever it is, being naughty sometimes. And this is my environment. So what's your environment like? What's happening where you are that you perhaps normally would like to change? But as you Open your mind a bit. And when I say open your mind, opening it to the, the possibilities that maybe you don't need to change what's going on. Maybe opening your mind to the possibility that there's some things that you can't change. And maybe you don't need to change them. Maybe you can just allow whatever's happening to happen. And to not really have any feelings either way. Whether positive or negative. Just accepting that this is how things are right now. And that can be, it can be a strange sensation to do because it almost goes against our natural instincts to just accept something that we don't normally like. And I'm being very vague because I don't know what your environment is like. I don't know, you know what kind of situation you're in. You may have children in another room watching a television. There may be cars going past. There may be, you might have a fan in the room because it's hot. You might have air conditioning. You might have a fridge next to you which comes on and off every now and then. You may have rain splashing against the windows or be, you know, windy, whatever. So this, all that stuff is just your environment. It's just there. It's just reality. And by not fighting against it, you open up. your mind to accepting that this is what is in this moment and you don't need to do anything you don't need to say anything 
You don't need to think anything. And those thoughts that you do have that spontaneously pop up can just float by like clouds in the sky. Just allow them just to float by. Because you can't be bothered with them at the moment. You don't feel the need to give your attention to anything but this moment and listening to my voice. And it's a nice feeling because in a sense, although you've given up control or trying to control your environment and, you know, everything around you. You have taken control by deciding to allow yourself to relax deeply into the moment and to not be attached in any way to any thoughts. You just let them float by like clouds in the sky. Because those thoughts do not require your attention in this moment. They're not useful, they're not important, they're just thoughts. And we have millions of thoughts probably every day. So taking a break for 20 minutes or however long you choose isn't going to affect your ability to think. If anything, your thinking processes actually improve when you take a break, when you realize that you're the boss of your own mind your mind does not control you. Those thoughts do not control you. And you won't be bullied by them. You can't be forced to focus on negative thoughts any longer. And that rule sticks in your mind. sticks in your mind so that even when this recording is over that new rule that you won't be controlled by negative thoughts is with you always reminding you always that you choose what you focus on. You choose what you give your energy to. Which means you can no longer feel that you're being controlled by outside things because you're not and you can't be because you're the boss of you 
You're in charge of yourself and your own life. And that, that gives you so much freedom to no longer be a slave to those negative thoughts that were getting in the way of your enjoyment and happiness and ability to relax deeply and to just drift off into a natural deep healing sleep when you choose to let go completely. And it is a really nice feeling to just realize that this is really simple. There's no energy really required for you to let go. Yet, an energy does arise, a positive energy that arises from dropping everything. Almost a freedom, an energy of freedom arises. It's like a pure energy without constrictions, without rules, an energy that's there for you, but not dependent on you doing anything for it, it's just there for you because you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be able to relax deeply every muscle of your body and for your mind to slow down and relax so thoroughly to the to the point where it's almost like your mind is just being switched off all the lights have been switched off and you really don't need to do anything because in this moment There's a sense of peace, a real sense of I guess it's like a connectedness. You feel connected to yourself. There's no not lots of different emotions happening all at the same time. It's really calm, really calm sense. But not just in all the muscles of your body. Not just in your legs and your arms and shoulders, your hands, your feet, your back, stomach and chest, your face, your jaw, your mouth and your eyes and your forehead deeply relaxing. really 
does feel nice. To experience this sense of comfort. This sense of relaxation. Deep, deep calmness. Peacefulness. Deep peacefulness. And the more you sit with this feeling, the more relaxed you feel. And the more relaxed you feel, the, you may notice that sense of drifting, especially if you're feeling tired or you wish to just go to sleep. It's as if you've given yourself permission to just drift to sleep. If that's what you choose to allow to happen. You can just drift now. You can just drift. And every time I say the word drift, you can drift even further down as I count from 10 to 1. It's almost like rolling down a hill safely once the journey starts, there's only one way, and that's drifting into a deep, healing sleep. So I got counting from ten down to one, and each time you hear the word drift, you can drift even deeper. Now, feeling confident in your ability to not only experience more relaxation and peace, more calmness in your mind, knowing that if any thoughts do come, they just drift right past you, like clouds in the sky, ten, Drift. Nine. Drift. Eight. Drift. Seven. Drift. Six.
drift. Four. Drift. Drift. Do it.